here we are at the Wadebridge Car Show, Easter, Good Friday. There's my car, doing all right, started well, and we've got a twin cam Fiat Sports Spider here. Beautiful car. I know the people that uh, that run this. And then over here we've got another one with the Ferrari V6 in. Fiat Dino. So we've got three Italian cars. We've got this lovely one. Powerful car, this one, as you can imagine. And rear seats. So like I say, this is a powerful car. And then over here we've got a lovely car, the Fiat Sport 850. You don't see many of these left. Really lovely car, I think. Needs a bit of work done on it, but I'd do it. It really is a lovely car, I think. And then this beautiful car that has a Hillman engine in the back. I'm not quite sure what it is. Some of you will know. Oh, it's a Clan Crusader, it says. A Clan Crusader. So the, you'll be able to look it up. Alloy wheels. It's an attractive rear end, I think. A young fella who's got it is doing it up. It's been a track car day. And over here you've got a car you might not see if you live in America, the Ford Classic. This was, uh, and it's a two-door. Which was a very advanced car in the 60s. And then down here, there's a lovely Citroen DS. Oh, and a Jensen. Have a look at the Jensen Interceptor. Very underrated car. It's much better than an Aston Martin or anything like that. Much better. The Jensen, look at that. Big, powerful American V8 in it. I don't know why anybody would have an Aston Martin. And you could have, look at that beautiful detail there with the side light built into the vents there. Big car. Italian coachwork. And then we've got the Rover 95. I had a hundred. Beautiful car, and it lives quite near me, just down the road. I didn't know. They were as good as a Rolls Royce. They were, all, they were a bit smaller than a Rolls Royce, but everything about them was the same the same type of engine, the same everything. And you can buy one of these for about £10,000 and have. A good Rolls Royce. And here must be one of the most rare cars, a Toyota. I think I've only perhaps seen one of these before in my life. Crown, the custom crown. That's the car of the future, look at it. Metallic blue upholstery. Two grills. <laughs> Two grills. You see them in Australia, so whether this has been imported, I don't know. A Rover 2000, a car I admire. Keep thinking I'd like to get one of these. And there's another Rover, a 75 over there, and uh, all sorts of things. V8 Rover. Very powerful car to have a three and a half litre V8 in a car that size.
A general view of the cars. It's a nice day, Easter this year. I'm just going to have a, I'll say goodbye just for the moment and uh, edit this together. I'm going to have a chat with this fellow with the Citroën. Well, let's do that. Does it come up at the back first? Yeah, and then the front. Look at this view as the Citroën DS, best car in the show. Up it comes. Everything powered by hydraulics. Even the driver. Little glass of beer occasionally. Isn't that something? And the thing about all these Citroëns is you can put it on extra low and that way nobody can clamp it. Look at that, original upholstery. Original upholstery. Stainless steel trim so you can polish it without going through. Bought in Barcelona. So those of you in America might not look at those tail lights. They're like rockets, like a supercar. Venetians for the hot English sun, hot Cornish sun. Swiveling headlights look. I don't know why, when modern cars are going to get all these refinements. Isn't that something? You hear the pump just clicking in then. I hope you like that, viewers. Look, viewers, a rear-engined car. One of my favourites. Got the oil, oil tank just behind the rear wheel. <laughs> All you have to do is take the wheel off to get to it. And then it's got the engine and the gearbox. It's got the gearbox there and then the engine out there so that when you go around a corner, the tail can steer you. But there we go, you can't tell them. Oh, and a spoiler, of course, that will make it go faster. Otherwise, it'll fly into the air. I am being a bit sarcastic, but there we go. It's a beautiful looking car, though. It is a, a good looking car, just the engineering is awful, but you couldn't get a, a much better looking car. There's the Mexico, an expensive car now. This was a rally one. A little trial of Herald, but this is, must be a Vitesse, the six cylinder I think, perhaps. No, it's just a convertible. Just. So we've got some American cars up there, perhaps see. Have a look at those a bit later. The lorries. And a car you Americans might not have seen, the Mark 10 Jaguar. Big car, very big car, very advanced, independent rear suspension, inboard disc brakes at the back, three cigar lighters. And it's got one either side in the back and one in the front. Enough woodwork for Windsor, I should think. Big car. Look at the thickness of the doors. Lovely colour, this one. Morris, I think. Imposing bonnet. Four headlights. Corgi used to make a little toy car one that had little I had and it had little suitcases in the back that you could open. Another TC, 2000 Rover 2000 TC. Excellent car. Ooh, proper headrests and the headrests used to have, although I don't think this one has, they used to have little lights in them and they were sort of plugged into the car's electric so you could sit in the back and uh, read by the lights that are built in just, just underneath them. Splendid car. Healy. Healy was a Cornish uh, engineer. Looks like it's got MX-5 seats in it. A lovely P3 Rover. I think it's a P3. 1946, yes, it'll be a P3 with the Rover himself on it. Lovely 
car. But outdated like all of the ones that came just then. Some more reasonably modern cars. The Jensen, of course. There we go. Some Model T's, I guess they are. this part. Well viewers it's time for me to go as well. So I'll have a little wander over to the car, put my seat away and have my cigar. It's been a lovely day and um, I hope wherever you are you have a nice day. Like I say if you ever get over to Cornwall you could come to Wadebridge. So uh, here I am wearing my Kubra hat today. All the best here. Hope you have a good time. Bye bye.